So today I'm talking about a P0012 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0012 code? Well, it's the intake A camshaft position timing over retarded bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's different components that manage the timing inside of an engine. There's sensors, timing belts or timing chain, variable valve timing, things like this. And the onboard computer seen an issue with one of these things. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a why. And this is going to have to do with the intake side of the engine. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. And so what are some possible causes of a P0012 code? Well, it could be lower dirty engine oil. It could be the variable valve timing. It could be a timing chain or timing belt. It could be the actuator or sprockets and it could be in the wiring. And so the first thing to do is to go check your engine oil level and be sure it's correct. And also be sure it's not too dirty because if the engine oil is low or if it's really dirty, then it could throw off that variable valve timing and it could cause issues. So first thing to go and do, be sure that engine oil is at the correct level and that it's not extremely dirty. And so when you get this Code, there's going to be a few things to go and check out and one of the first things to go and check out is going to be the variable valve timing or variable cam timing however you want to call it but they're basically little solenoids and there'll be one located on the intake and one located on the exhaust and they're basically just little solenoids that slide in and out they'll have electrical connection and they have these little holes that oil flows through and when the oil flows through they go into these actuators or sprockets and the timing chain or timing belt goes around on these and depending on how the oil flows through one of those solenoids it'll adjust these sprockets and it'll advance the timing a little bit or retard the timing a little bit depending on what's going on and so the first thing to go and do is to check out the intake variable valve timing on your particular engine and be sure that it's working correctly sometimes they can become clogged up especially if like if dirty oil was being used in the engine or something like that and if that happens sometimes it can be cleaned up and put back to work but quite often if they're bad and they're replaced one thing to keep in mind is be sure to check out the electrical going to it because anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid so be sure to check that out but the first thing to go and do is to check out this intake variable valve timing on your particular engine and if you have a v6 or v8 engine be sure to find bank one and the intake variable valve timing on that side of the engine and so if you check out those variable valve timing solenoids and they look good and there's no issues there then another thing that could cause this issue is that the timing belt or timing chain has slipped a notch and is throwing everything off and the basics of how you go about checking this is, is that there'll be notches that you can line up and be sure everything's co working correctly for example right here there's a notch up here there's a notch over here on this side and then there's a notch down here on the crank so basically you need to find all these notches where they all line up and then you rotate the engine until they match up and then you go around and each one of these notches should be matched up if one of them's off if one of them's before or after that notch for some reason then you know that timing belt slipped and you know there's an issue because all these gears all need to be lined up and all those notches need to match or else the engine's not going to run correctly one thing to keep in mind with these timing belts is that if they get really super old then sometimes everything can match up when you go to check it but when the engine's working they stretch because they're really old and they're just not as tight as they used to be and when that happens it can sometimes throw everything off so if that timing belt's really really old got a lot of miles on it then that is something to keep in mind and so if you go through and you check all those things and you still can't solve this code it still keeps coming back then another thing that you could go and check is you could check out these sprockets and this is basically what the timing belt or a timing chain spins on is these sprockets and depending on how the oil is flowing through those variable valve timing solenoids it can advance the timing or it can retard the timing and this is where it happens at and these don't fail as much as the other components by far with this code it's usually like a variable valve timing solenoid or a bad timing belt or something like that but these do go bad sometimes so if you checked everything else out and you just can't solve this code then the next thing to go and check is going to be these actuators or sprockets and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a p0012 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day